I'm standing here making a video that I wasn't going to make. Um, in the sense that I promised myself, I promised my family that I'd, I'd take a break. What's happened in the last 12 months? I've had two stints of solitary confinement. Um, I've run as an MEP in a month-long campaign, which was tiresome, but, but good. Um, I wiped Panorama. Basically, their credibility was destroyed. We finished John Sweeney. The reason I'm making this video is because John Sweeney's trying to make some sort of comeback. But first of all, before we get onto that, just a thank you from me for giving me the time. I will be back with a bang. I've just come out of custody and I promised that I'd give some stability to my wife and my children. Um, I'm spending time with them, but I am, I will be back. But I couldn't watch this little video from John Sweeney. I couldn't watch it without commenting. So I've come to make a comment and to everyone else, you'll be hearing from me very soon. Let's get on to John Sweeney's video. The other day on Twitter, I called Tommy Robinson a complete No, on reflection, I think I got that wrong and I'd like to apologise to Tommy Robinson and his supporters. I thought he was going to be the bigger man and just apologise. Realising he'd been found out with our undercover footage. But then I continued to watch his video. Now, remember, when we exposed him, we had him on camera saying... We can clip that bit. We can clip that bit. We can clip that bit. And, true to fashion, he does exactly the same again. But watch this. German people for too long have lived in the guilt of Adolf Hitler. Tommy Robinson there with the Adolf Hitler Appreciation Society in Bavaria. Now, if I was still at the BBC, I'd have to weigh my words very carefully about what I think about that evidence, but I've left. So, Tommy Robinson, I was wrong to call you a complete c the other day. You're a Nazi c That's who you are. These are not the views of the BBC. When I say exactly the same, I mean cut and edit to push a false narrative. Say that I was at an Adolf Hitler Appreciation Society, when in fact it was a compact magazine annual event where I won the award of Patriot of the Year. So what he done was he took the comment I made about Germans living in the guilt of Adolf Hitler, and he took an applause, which was actually two minutes before, and put them together with a lie saying it was the Adolf Hitler Appreciation Society, a complete made up lie, to fool you, the public, into believing the context of how that was said. Now, the actual context that I was saying to German people is for too long you've lived in the guilt of Adolf Hitler. You should have stopped him. For too long you've lived in the guilt. Don't live in the guilt of Angela Merkel as she destroys Europe and future generations will feel guilty about what she has brought to Europe, just as German generations now still feel the guilt of Adolf Hitler. And the point I was making is that a German born today growing up in, in, in today's times, shouldn't be guilty, because they've done nothing wrong. Verweidigungsgangs. Er hat dagegen verstoßen, er hat berichtet darüber. Er war vor dem Gericht in Leeds, hat dort Gesicht gezeigt und hat die Menschen aufgeklärt. Deswegen heute das erste Mal in der Geschichte des Compact Magazins, dass jemand ausgezeichnet wird als europäischer Patriot des Jahres. Ein Riesenapplaus für Tommy Robinson. Look around you, feel your strength. You are part of a tidal wave of patriotism that is sweeping across Europe. It's an unstoppable movement. And in the first year, I watched fear. I watched German people who were scared of what was happening to their country. I went last year, the three year anniversary of Pegida, and I watched a different atmosphere, an atmosphere of jubilation an atmosphere where people could see a solution to the problem. Open borders is the problem. Alternative for Deutschland is the answer. German people for too long have lived in the guilt of Adolf Hitler. Do not live in the guilt of Angela Merkel. She will... Don't live in the guilt. That's the context of what I was making. And he pushed that lie. And in his video, he pushed that line, all the blue tick brigade. 
The Globalist Corporate Media, all the journalists spread it without any context. So John, well done for living up true to your, to your name, mate, as a fraud. John, you got the biggest expose I've ever seen on the BBC on you last year. I know you thought you shouldn't listen to what I said when I told you. John, you you finish your career. You finish your career. You so. I know so. Now, John, anyone can do what you've done. That's not hard, but it spreads lies. Anyone can do it. Have you got anti Semitic now, John? About Adolf Hitler well, being his own. Well, about Adolf Hitler well, being his own. Well, about Adolf Hitler well, being his own. Well, In our previous footage that we got on you, undercover footage, you just come across as a drunk old man. What is it with you and drink? In the, in the finishing of your latest video, you look like a psychopath. These are not the views of the BBC. A drunk psychopath. I think it's time you took a look at yourself in the mirror, John. Fool, sweetie. Fool. What have I done to myself? So leaving the BBC after 17 years, John's not at all bitter, is he? He's been found out. It took them too long. He didn't want to admit it was because of me, because of our undercover footage, because of Lucy Brown's footage, to be honest. He didn't want to admit that. And how many journalists like John are there that are lying to the public, that are being used as propaganda to destroy good people's names? How can anyone trust Annie Panorama again? Now, I, didn't even, I wasn't even going to come back and comment on this, but we'll end this on a comment a fine patriot made. When, you, when he was being interviewed by you. Again, John, maybe you're thick. Maybe you're thick.